Thank you, Malika, and it's a pleasure to be back again uh, to tell you all about what you're doing in Bangladesh with those TV. Uh, <clears throat> many of you know that Bangladesh, is a, as Yon pointed out, that if you need to eliminate cholera, you have to take it out of being gone, which is very true. And uh, so ICDIB has been involved in many, many vaccine trials, including parenteral vaccines and oral vaccines and uh, the vaccine that was developed by Jan and tested with John and everyone else at ICDDRB many, many years ago led to the development of the affordable OCVs. And so from 2011, we've been very busy uh, looking at uh, uh, sham call. I'm not talking about all the things that we've done with Ducarol, which goes going back to the GTFCC plans for taking vaccine forward. And until now, we have uh, actually used about 7 million doses of OCV in different studies, campaigns, urban and rural settings, as well as in um, uh, uh, the stressed population and migrated population among the Rohingyas. So at, uh, what we've been doing is always been in close collaboration with the government of Bangladesh and using the national immunization system, basically the EPI. So the EPI has been directly involved in all these studies and international partners have played key roles uh, like uh, IVI, Gothenburg University, and all my friends uh, around here. Yeah. So the target always has been to vaccinate children and, uh, and adults, focusing on both men and women in the community and institution-based programs. And, Apart from these mass vaccination programs, we've done a lot of studies to understand. There was one question to Yon about why do we need to study children? Why the children, why the vaccines don't work so well in younger children? And we have all these studies with uh, uh, with Gothenburg University and with Mass General Hospital, Harvard University, trying to understand these differences, including uh, recently the conjugate vaccine. And so uh, we've used Shancol, we've used uh, UV Call Plus in Bangladesh, and we've also been used Call Vaccine, a little bit of Hillcall. So if you summarize the OCV vaccination experience in Bangladesh, it's been uh, uh, the mass vaccination 240,000 period where we showed how feasible it was to use cholera vaccine under normal conditions. We did have a wash arm um, and a control arm. But the wash arm had, you know, chlorine water treatment and hand washing, uh, something that did not turn out to be very practical and also did not appear to be uh, giving us better effectiveness than the vaccine alone. We've also uh, worked in the rural slums because most of our studies are based in Dhaka city or in city areas, but we've also gone to rural slums, slums showing it is even better to easier to use the EPI program and work in slums because people in slums usually uh, in, the, in the rural areas usually uh, come very forward for vaccination. And the single dose vaccine trial that we talk about all the time, why that even for, for, that, for those five years and above, we only need one dose and maybe boosters later on. And the thermal stability work, which based on which we are going forward with using uh, in campaigns, we don't carry the vaccines in, uh, especially Shancol in coal chain, in coal boxes. Um, we also have evaluated uh, the impact of a two dose regimen of Shancol in children one to 14 years of age residing in the slum. And also we've worked on other vaccines Two oral cholera vaccine technology has been transferred to Bangladesh to a company in SEPTA. One is from the International Vaccine Institute. Shancol technology has been transferred to this company, and we have used the we have used the vaccine. And actually, it was published. To, it was accepted for publication in Vaccine Today. But we've also worked with the Hilleman vaccine, uh, two vaccines, and with the Hilleman vaccine, we have shown uh, that it is non-inferior to, both the vaccines are non-inferior, inferior to Shancol and also very safe and effective. So then we now coming to the National Cholera Control Plan. We have uh, carried out the 
large demonstration project in six thanas in Dhaka city uh, just before the pandemic and have vaccinated 1.2 million people in this vaccination strategy. It was actually remarkable how people from all strata of life came for vaccination to our uh, vaccination sites. And in the end, we finished up the 1.2 million people and had to turn back people from and could not give them the vaccine. There was so much eagerness. Um, with the pandemic, everything stopped and our national control plan has not gone forward. I talked about it day before yesterday also, and I've been talking about it a lot. We are very worried. Um, but uh, if we consider how much vaccine has been used in Bangladesh and successfully, the most important success, I would say, is the implementation of the vaccine among the Rohingya population uh, in 2017, as soon as these the, the people from Myanmar relocate, had to relocate to, Bang, to Dhaka, to Cox's Bazaar. And here they, we have used 4.1 million uh, doses of the vaccine between 2017 and 2021. And there haven't been any epidemics, no outbreaks uh, among, the, among this uh, uh, population. The host population have also been vaccinated. This was a requirement by WHO that people living close to the FDMNs were just as at risk as the others. And most recently, just now in the pandemic time, we have vaccinated between uh, October to November, not November to December, sorry. October to November, we've used both Shancol and Uvicol Plus and vaccinated people. So, Based on this, I think OCB acceptance, OCB plans are okay, but the pandemic has actually completely distracted uh, uh, the, the policymakers. So, but uh, based on what we need for Bangladesh, we project the requirement. Um, I was just listening to the discussions over the last two days, and from 2013, there has been to the GTFC to the for the from the vaccine from the OCB stockpile. 178 million requested since 2013, 132 million has been approved. In 2021, uh, 35 million doses were requested and 30 million approved. And in Bangladesh, we, based on our surveillance, based on the high risk population, uh, we will need 173 million doses in the next six years. I'm saying six years, all the plan was to finish the target of vaccination in the national control plan by 2025, we've had a massive delay in our plans. And so I would say in the next six years, we will use 170 million doses to, um, to vaccinate about 80 million people who are at risk. Now, OCB production, as I learned, was uh, Shan Sanofi would stop Shankal production from 2023. New biologics I saw was stepping up on OCB production and a lot of doses will be produced. Bharat Biotech is going on with the phase three studies on Hillcall. We did a phase one, phase two non-inferiority in Bangladesh, which is very successful. And I'm very happy to hear that Bharat, Bharat is taking this forward and uh, phase three trial will be carried out in India. But uh, we have in Bangladesh in SEPTA producing callbacks and they are ready to, they already have bulk uh, 100,000 doses, which they would can make into finished products immediately if, if the government wants it. But they also have uh, plans for the use of Colvax by the by GOB when the national control, control plan was made. It was that the locally produced vaccine will be used. And according to the capacity of this company, one to two months, uh, within one to two months, high volume of the vaccine can be made at least 8 million doses. We call production formulation, which was done actually initially, in call work was done in Bangladesh in, by in sector with the Hilleman laboratory. So there's a lot of scope for more things to be done in Bangladesh and to get our required doses of vaccine. And with Bangladesh reaching uh, PQ, WHO PQ in June, hopefully June 2022, uh, the vaccine can also be taken out of the, sold out of the country by Gavi, but it can also be used for home consumption. So with that, I would like to acknowledge uh, all the government and non-government organizations that we've been working, our international partners, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, IVI, Gavi World Health, 
UNICEF, and of course, my friend, Jan Holmgren, Foundation and Sir John Clemens. The, the oral vaccine, we've been able to do so much. Thank you so much. And my large team at Bangladesh, who worked so hard. Thank you.